Are you afraid of IPR? <coughs> Interproximal reduction. A commonly used method to create space and eliminate crowding in the permanent dentition. How? By removing enamel. <coughs> But wait, is it causing more cavities? Is it creating damages? Is it creating permanent damages? The answer is in this week's Clear Tip. My name is Stefan Reinhardt, Director of Education for the Clear Institute, where dentists make the move. So without further ado, let's be clear about IPR. Let's start this thing. ARS, known as air rotor stripping, appeared in the 1980s and became a true compromise to tooth extraction. The goal was to be more conservative and avoid extractions that often gave too much space to what was really needed. It was common to extract two premolars on one arch, gaining 15 millimeters for a dental maxillary disharmony that would require, 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 that would require only six or seven millimeters. Crowding being the more common problem uh, that we see in, in malocclusion, we often need to create some space. The choice we have are expansion, proclination, distalization, extraction, and IPR. When they started to bond brackets on teeth instead of using complete bands on, on all teeth, the interproximal surfaces became accessible. So the, the idea of taking advantage of the enamel thickness on these surfaces to reduce them and reshape them became more and more popular. Dentists were seeing that teeth were wearing out vertically, like me, without causing any cavity problems and then thought, maybe we can do the same thing horizontally without creating any harm to the patient. A lot of studies were done to evaluate if IPR or ARS were causing damages or long-term problems, and the results are clear. Nowadays, if done properly, like everything else you do, we can safely proceed to remove enamel in the interproximal spaces without any permanent short or long-term damage to the teeth and supporting structure if we follow and apply the right techniques. It is possible today to do IPR and get back a smooth enamel surface as if it was untouched. Is it possible for me too? I've been touched. I think it's too late for that. Using ultrafine burrs and polishing discs, we can reproduce an, an enamel surface that will look as if it was never touched before. I wonder if we use them on me. And that is the goal. I, I always want to be able to show pictures of my finished cases to my peers without having them being able to tell where I did the IPR. If you can't say where I did it, then it's because it doesn't show. You have to agree. You're not comfortable doing IPR? My advice, don't do it. Find another way. You were just hesitating because you were not sure if it was safe? Then, go ahead. We're backed up by science. Just be careful like in everything else you do. And watch out for the meso surfaces of the lower premolars. You will thank me for that later. Either way, if you want more of these videos and want to stay educated and informed about really interesting stuff that is coming soon, click on the subscribe button and click the bell also. You will then be noticed every time we upload a new video on the channel. So we will keep entertaining your clear line, your education. Now go ahead and have fun creating space. My name is Stefan Reinhardt, Director of Education for the Clear Institute, where dentists make the move. <laughs>